Ask Reddit recently posed the question, if you could, with absolute certainty, know the answer to one yes or no question, what would it be? Like, if God could come down and give you the answer to something, hmm. or whoever you, like, if you could get the answer for sure, yes or no, to one thing, what would you ask for? Now, Nutsford City said, <laughs> will I live, that name, sorry. I <laughs> will I leave to see my grandkids? I didn't get married until 37, and after some fertility issues, Aww. I had my son at 40. It's something I think about often. That's real life. That would probably bring them so much peace, yeah. right? If right. the answer is yes. Yeah. Yeah, but what if it's no? I know, I just <laughs> thought about that. And O to be 19 asks, does my mom have a favorite? Ooh. So ladies, exactly. What question would you want to know, and what if the answer was yes, and what if the answer was no? Ooh. Wow. You know what I would like to know? Will Tamara have another baby to Ooh, make me an auntie? Oh, yes, that's a good one. Don't you answer. I'm not. It, it has to come. If that was my question. Okay. I get to ask it. Okay. Now, if the answer is yes, <laughs> how will you feel about that? I'll be so excited and delighted to be another auntie. Oh. If, and if, if it is a definite no, will you be highly disappointed? Yes, I will. <laughs> no <laughs> pressure. Uh, you want to. That was going to be my question. Oh. Will I have a third child? Wait. Because I keep going. The fact going, that you're asking the, tells me yes. And the fact that you picked up on that, come on now, exactly. we know what's going to happen season four. Us. I don't know. Some days I, but you know what? Okay, this is real, so I'm going to be honest. Yes. Um, I do have a feeling that I will have a third child, but I don't think I am going to um, deliver it. I think we might adopt. That's Ooh. been heavy on my heart. So, oh. yeah, so maybe that's the third child. That's awesome. I don't, so yeah. beautiful. That would be really beautiful. What would be that's yours, Jeannie? Awesome. Uh-oh. Okay, um, I would say the biggest question I have right now. Yes or no? <laughs> I, okay. So, I know. Okay. Oh, it's all right. So, um... So, you know how much I love Freddie, my husband. He's my life. And before we got married, I was very clear about the fact that I probably would not have kids, just because I've never felt that. And now, getting older, he definitely seems like he wants kids, and he actually came out and said that he wants children. Wants children. So, um, I guess it's just really hard because I can't just have a child for another person. And you don't have a child to save your marriage. But we are in love and we are enjoying life and he's my Freddie and mm -hmm. I'm his genie. And we don't have any other problems except that, which you never know what could happen in the future. Mm -hmm. So right now we are clinging to each other and we're waiting for God to kind of tell us what, what, what that means. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of weird to go to sleep every single night holding on to that person that you love so much, not knowing where it's going to go. go so ahead, you would mom. like to know that? Yeah, and I do talk to God a lot about it every single day. Every single day I want to know where, what, what does that mean for us? Because I love, I love Freddie so much. Do you think... If the answer is no, you, you would break up if you didn't have children? Um, I think we have to always do what's right for that person that we're imagining and we're thinking of first. And I think sometimes you, for both sides, I have to know that I love him so much, I want him to be happy, first and foremost, and I cannot stand in that way, and he has to do the same for me. Yeah. That's all we know right now. Yeah. That is not an easy thing to talk it's about. Not, it is not easy to not, talk about, no. and... It's okay, G you know, you know Jeannie, you... you it's, you have to get counseling, you can go to counseling. Which we are, it. yeah, we are. Talk about it. It's okay. 
you know? I think yeah. the fact that you even could sit up here and say that shows that you guys are in such a strong place to even yep. be able to address what the issue is. You know, some so many people go through their marriage and they never even talk about these things. They right. keep these things bottled up inside and that shows right. the friendship and the foundation that you guys have built that you could be so honest and open with each other and that you want happiness for each other. Can I ask That's you? That's so dope. What, what is it? What is, is it? Let's just be real for a minute. Just, yeah. What is it? What is it about children that's maybe frightened you? I mean, because um, I think you would be a phenomenal mom. You're energetic. But you guys, she's expressed before. It's, it's great to say those kind of compliments, but she doesn't take that as a compliment because she doesn't want that. Yeah, there's you a You feel what I'm saying? I, you don't want to have children. I know, I know I would be a great mom because I really love kids and I love people and I love purpose. Putting those three together creates an awesome human being. Um, but at the same time, I just don't, I don't want that responsibility. I don't, I but really I don't feel that. And you have to, I believe as a mother, which is why I really have respect for you, Tamara, you have to be willing to commit your entire life for that child. Because when you bear a child into this world, it's not about you. And you've got to do what it takes for that child. Selfless. Every day. Every single day. And that's forever. the reason why, Jeannie, I tell you, I know where you're coming from. That's the reason why I did not have children, because I know, I see it, you know, I have friends and I, we've, I've helped raise them. But this is a different situation, and I mean, we just wish you the best. Yeah. We'll keep talking about it as yeah. long as you want to talk about Thank it. Thank you for letting us you know? be on this yeah. journey. And Thank not just you. us, but everybody that watches, because I know there's probably someone at home that may be able to relate or feels what you're feeling, or, or maybe even is feeling what Freddie feels. Right. But thank you for being so transparent and sharing that. It exactly. takes so much strength to right. just open up and say that. Yeah. That's 